What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now in today's video I have a little bit of a strange review. The reason why it's strange is because I have two brand new fit tapered items from Gymshark. And one is a small and one is a large. Now I'll get into the reasons uh, as to why one's a small and one's a large and people will be like, Liam why don't you just get a medium but I will explain all in the next clip. So if you guys have searched for this video and are watching this video, you'll know from the title, the thumbnail, and searching for it in the first place, that these items are the brand new Gymshark tapered, fit tapered, I think they're the version 2 because I have the very old tapered bottoms. This is the hoodie and the reason why I got a large is purely because I wanted it a little bit baggier. It's, very, it's called the fit series, but the reason for that is that it's very very fitted. So as you can see from the side, there's virtually no, it's basically just my chest sticking out and then everything else is just straight down. I mean, you can have a look, it's just a nice simple plain black design and as you can see there's a nice sort of charcoal -y, grey, almost rubbery type feel of a logo, Gymshark signature logo on the left hand side there as well. So that is very clean, simple, there's lovely zip pockets on the left and the right hand side which is a massive upgrade because actually I have the fit hoodie and it's... Um, if you want to put anything in the pockets of that, then I've, I've, I've done a review ages ago, but if you want to put anything in the pockets, then you do struggle purely because, I, I don't know, it's just, they're, they're not very big and these, these are massive pockets, as you can see, like you can fit pretty much half of my arm in there. I mean, I'm, I'm quite a short guy, I'm only five foot seven. That's another thing I wanted to mention as well. If you've seen any of my reviews before, you will know that I'm five foot seven tall, have roughly a 40 inch chest. It's, it's a little bit bigger probably since the last time I measured, but it's roughly 40 inches, and normally I wear a medium. But all of this, all this is gonna do is come down to personal preference, because imagine if I wore a medium, it would be a lot tighter on the gut. It's also, it's always, it's uh, already relatively snug anyway, but it would be even tighter than that and so that's just all down to personal preference, how you want it to fit, what you want to get out of it. I prefer to wear Gymshark both in and out of the gym and so personally for me it's better to have a slightly looser fit so that you don't feel restricted almost when you're outside of the gym as well. But like I say, that's just me. So um, that's pretty much all I can say for the top. There's very minimal branding. I've been putting the clips on the screen as you guys will have seen already. So you'll get a good idea of how it fits. This is how it fits on me from the front, from the side, and from the back. So uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is the hood as well. Um, it's a, it looks funny shape there, but like, I mean, it's quite cool how this can come up, as you can see the zip comes up nice and high because that'll help you uh, to keep warm, especially because it's quite a thin, it's really, really good, really stretchy, it's nice and lightweight, not, not a, a pain in the ass to carry around or anything like that. So, I mean, this is going to be very difficult, so I'll have to put some clips on the screen, um, but as you can't actually see my legs, so I'll put some pans on the screen and stuff like that, but these are the bottoms. And I wanted to explain the reason why I went for a small. I'm a 32 inch waist, um, and so I would generally go for the mediums. If I buy anything like jeans or suit trousers or anything like that, I buy a 32 inch waist, and that is the medium on the Gymshark sizing guide. But the thing is, I'm only five foot seven, and I tend to have a longer upper body. I mean, yeah, it's still pretty short, but it's longer than my legs are. So. I tend to go for the smaller sizes and stuff like this because it's very elasticated. You see the stretch in the waistband there. So the waist is not a problem. That's not the issue with it. It's the length in the leg. And so I tend to go for the smaller sizes uh, in the shorts and the, and the joggers. So I'm going to try these on. Not that you guys will be able to tell the difference. Now these are actually my favourite joggers of all time. I have the very old, the very first original Gymshark fit tapered bottoms. And anyone who knows me knows that if I'm not wearing shorts and I'm not wearing jeans for a night out, then I'll be wearing those joggers. So these, the, just the small differences, the pockets are kind of now more on an angle rather than they are straight on the older ones. Again, there's nice matching sort of gray charcoal -y rubbery logo uh, just to match the hoodie as well. But also one thing I will mention is that they've got like a, almost like a layer of material around the back. Just, I think it's to emphasize the calf. Jim Shaw like putting teeny little things in like that just to help emphasize your seat just that little bit more. One other minimal but makes a big difference, uh, in my opinion anyway, is the drawstring. This is now sort of a lot thicker, it feels a lot more durable and is now capped with like a rubber top rather than it just being a little plasticky looking thing. Um, one thing to note as well is that it might bug a few people, I mean it doesn't bother me at all. 
um, because it's just the waistband, but it is a lot thicker. If you have the old fit tapered bottoms, um, I haven't actually done a review of those, but I do wear them in a lot of videos. Um, if you have those ones, then that's a hell of a lot thinner and just, I don't know, it, before trying these on, they felt durable, but now having tried these on, they just feel so much better. They have the same amount of stretch. They're still, they're still, you know, squat proof. Absolutely no movement in them whatsoever. So no problem training legs, but I tend to wear shorts when training legs anyway. So that doesn't really make a difference to me. But again, guys, all down to personal preference when it comes to the size. Just a reminder, I'm a 32 inch waist, have a 40 inch chest for the large hoodie hoodie in large and joggers in small. So if you guys have any questions, anything else to do with the design, to do with the fit, if it shrinks, anything like that, then uh, post them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I see the comment because I always love interacting with you guys and as long as I can help you out then that is the reason I make these videos. So thanks so much for watching guys, that is going to conclude today's video. As always remember, no regrets and I'll see you guys in the next video.